<laughs> oh my gosh, that was really easy. This is a no clogger tool and I am very scared to use it, but no clogger sent it to me and I've heard good things about it. So let's try it out together and see how it works. This tool is fairly simple in appearance. It is a 3D printed handle and then it has a long steel rod that comes to a point. And there is this cute little guide here. But the key thing is, does it unclog a printer and does it do so safely? Undo this. All right, so it's loose. Next thing is we wanna heat the printer. All right, so now I have a clog. Typically what I would have done is I would have got under here with the acupuncture needle or I would have tried multiple ways, trying to shove some filament in. And this is going to be, if it works the way it's supposed to, much easier and faster. So let's try it. Wow. Wow. All right. That was really, that was really easy. I, I worked with this clog for a little bit and I wanted to wait and do a demo here because, okay, I'm really amazed. And it looks very simple, but what we have here is we have simplicity with high precision. So you have a 1.75 millimeter filament and somewhere along that path, you're going to get a clog. And there's hot areas and there's cool areas. For instance, you wanna heat up down there at your heater block and you want your nozzle hot and you wanna get it at 215 or whatever temperature you want. But above that, you wanna have cooler areas and sometimes with clogs, you will get some filament that is above that hot zone, but you can't get it down. So this is why I'm so impressed with this because that was very easy. All right, let's use this on another printer. And in this case, this is my Ender 3 V2 and this is a Bowden drive printer. So in order to do that, we need to go from the straight path from the top of the hot end all the way down to the bottom. And so you can just disconnect your PTFE tube. And for the sake of demonstration, I took off the cover so we could have a little bit better look, but you, you really don't need to do that because now you've got straight access down. So the the uh, no clogger has this little ring here, which is kind of neat. You can eyeball it. Like I was looking at this earlier and saying, I need to get about, oof. So let me demonstrate this. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna show you something that's gonna happen when you get done and get the filament out. Here we go. There we go, oops. All right, so go down, move slowly, and you'll know when you get in the nozzle because the filament will start coming out and you'll know you'll feel like it can't go any farther. So when you bring it out, you are going to probably have filament on it. They have a tool that helps with this and you will know it because it's a razor blade and it does a very good job of if you have remnant filament um, scraping it off. And they also have a thing you can print, which is a capper that you can put on so you don't poke yourself. And it also stores the razor blade on the side. So you've got all that. Anyway, final thoughts on the no clogger. I was a huge skeptic and I'm no longer a skeptic. Not only do I like it, I love it. I have had clogs that I have worked for hours on to try to get everything reset, taking these apart, putting it back together. At one time recently, I damaged something and I had to order parts, but this would have solved the problem. And there is nothing quite like the feeling of pushing down and having that clog that's bugging you just come right on out. You can go to noclogger.com. One of these is $15, two is about $24, and three is about $30. And the shipping is gonna depend in the US where I am, it's about $5, or it is $5. Anyway, check this out. I am seriously impressed with this tool and how it's one of those things that's gonna make me happy, whereas clogs make me angry. Getting that clog out, yeah, this is pretty cool. Check it out.